Hey guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Captain of Industry. And uh, today we are going to fix um, a lot of our shortfalls. So we're definitely going to... Oh, actually, this thing is all filled up, so I may as well switch this thing back on. And we're also seeing a fair bit of the iron coming in now, so, so that's all good. What we do, however, need is a bit more workers. So what I thought maybe, since we're seeing a fair bit of this in here now... A good idea would be for us to actually expand our housing. And I think the the answer is for us to expand with um not with the uh with 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 the uh housing level two, but just the housing level one. Uh so we can go ahead and get that built. I can do a quick delivery. Yes, let's do a quick delivery, get all of the stuff there. Um switch on the beacon so that we can get some more workers here, and that should do the trick. Uh, what I will have a quick look at is to see if we can grab a little bit of concrete. Um, let's hang on, hang tight. Well, let's give it a give it a second. What we do need to do is provide ourselves with some extra power at some point. Uh, I'm also not going to use these anymore. So I think what I'll do is I will actually um, get rid of those things so we can reuse those materials. I'm definitely not going to use um, them for coal production anymore. So getting rid of that is uh, is all good. Hopefully we will see... Yes, this is filling up nicely. This is filling up really nicely. I like it. This, however, is not filling up nicely. So let's grab um, an extra couple of um, these pickups so that we can get more vehicles out there. I am wondering about this though, but let's... Um... So I'm gonna raise this up. So let's let's get the concrete industry going on over here. So concrete industry will need a coal, no, not a coal maker. Why would we need, at some point we may need a crusher, but the rotary kiln will give me cement. And then from there, I can... Ah, here we go. This is what we need. We need sand and um, slag, crushed slag. Okay, so... Okay, so let's start it off over here. Um, okay, let's pause the game. I don't want any more refugees, so I'm going to switch that off right now. We got a fair bit more of all these things. Should be all good. Now, that's the... That's the concrete mixer. Before that, we will need um, a cement production. So we'll need a rotary kiln. So something like this will give us a rotary kiln. I think I'm just going to place it right over here. And we will also need a crusher so that we can, in fact, get some sand and stuff on that side. I think that should do the trick. Okay, so this guy, that way can go that way. This guy will go in there. Awesome, I like that. Um, we need um, some storage over here for slag. It needs to go back a little bit because it needs to go up high. Let's uh, move it over there. I need another one here for the limestone. And probably another one over here for a little bit of coal. Okay, so if we do that, and that, and that, awesome, that kinda works. I hope we can actually reach everything. This one will be coal, this one will be limestone, and that one will be slag. So now we're going to have slag being delivered over here, so this will give us a fair bit of stuff. So we are playing, um, so hopefully we can get some concrete going on. I will in the meantime trade um, a little bit more. Should have some vehicles coming out fairly soon, hopefully. Excellent! A little bit more happening over here now. We do need to uh, speed a lot of this up, I think. 
missing inputs. Yeah, all looking good for the time being. Is this thing full? Not anymore. So what's the issue now? Oh, it's full up, filled up with slag. Okay, okay, okay. So if we're going to put slag somewhere, I'm kind of tempted to move it back this way and have the slag kind of in here. Let's do a bit of that. See if we can't, uh, can't sort out the slag over there. And then we'll at least have some slag that can be moved over there as soon as, uh, as, soon as we get it. Not enough maintenance, which is why. Uh, should be okay. Are we not producing enough? I'll have a look at uh, what we can do with regards to refueling. We're out of power. So power should be okay right now. Also out of slack. Mm. Now, if I do that, how much is this going to... I'm kind of tempted to do it. To just run the slag out over this way. Okay, so now we'll have some slag coming in this way. Hopefully we'll have enough. Yeah, all of this should be should be okay to build most of this. The U-shape conveyor. Okay, yeah. There we go, slag will be filling this thing up as soon as we get it built. Nice, and we still have a bit of concrete available. Our unity is going up a little bit. How is our food? Our food supply is looking amazing. We should have a fair bit of water available. Awesome, I love it. Good, good, that is working. Now, we should start looking at repairing this. We've got a fair bit going on for ourselves. So we can probably start looking at that. Maybe let's just get this up and running first. Now, I would like to use crushed slag. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just think about this. So if I don't have sand, I can do... Yeah, maybe that's a more appropriate one for us just this minute. I would like you to keep this thing filled up, please. I would like you to keep that thing filled up. This thing can be filled up also. Awesome. So now we're going to start seeing some stuff. You are going to use slag to produce slag, uh, crushed slag or slag crushed. That's going to be good. Excellent. We've got three workers available. And we're probably out. Not quite out yet. Still producing a few. Nice. Okay. Things are moving along. Can we get this thing built? That would be good. Out of power again? Oh, yeah. We are running a little hot on the power. And I think all of this is using power too. So I probably need to build yet another. How much is this costing me? Hmm. We're a little low on most of the things we need for that. Yeah, and we probably need um, some storage as well. Okay, excellent, excellent. So now we are going to see all of this work as soon as we get some power going on. So let's uh, let's see about building another generator here. I think that should be okay. We will, however, need more materials, much, much more materials. Iron is running out. We've built some vehicles. Getting most of that stuff over there, but the copper, however, has be a bit of an issue. Okay, so we need to um, move along and do the rest of this. So let's um, let's get the next metal caster in. Yeah, that's the one. And if I grab us the molten channel, I will extend it from over there. And then over this way, 
How is that not a valid connection? That is not going to work. Cancel, cancel, cancel that, please. Hmm. Do I kill this thing and build it again? I'm kind of going to have to do it, right? If I okay, hang on. Let's uh, let's see. If I if I de demolish that piece there as soon as that's out. Let me demolish that and see if I can't rebuild it. But yeah, I might have been a little... I might have been a little problematic with this stuff. Let's try that again. So if I do this, okay, and if I do... Uh, it just doesn't want to do it, does it? Okay, I'll have to... Okay, cancel. Cancel that. And what we'll do is we'll... Uh, Ooh. Okay, well let's uh, let's let's get rid of this thing and I'll rebuild it. So presumably we will get all of those pieces out that we needed. Right, the kill needs transport to output exhaust. Yes, that's something that I didn't think about. So let's just go back and get the copper electrolysis. And we'll place it over this way. And this time around, we'll do that. Perfect. Now it'll actually work. So hopefully we'll get all of that fixed. And then we'll get some other bits and pieces. Yeah, we're still struggling with this a little bit. Let's switch that off for the time being yet again. Um, so we'll move up a little bit to get, a, get some more um, more storage for our, uh, for our copper pieces as well. That's looking pretty good. Rotary kill needs, uh, needs something. So let's... Um, Let's quickly figure that piece out. We'll have to build one of these exhausts. Yeah, I just, I like doing it just like this, so it's not too resource intensive. But at least now we are starting to see um, the production of concrete, uh, which I will also need to kind of store somewhere. Nice. Okay, so that is starting to move. We've got 19 out of 50 vehicles that we can kind of afford to run at this point in time. We do need all of this to continuously be producing. Got the output filled up. Are you telling me the slag is full? Okay, well, let's. Uh, we, we need to empty that straight away then. Nice. Okay, as long as we keep moving the slag um, so that we can keep running these things. It's, uh, it's quite useful. This guy's output is full. This guy is probably going to get full, filled up pretty quickly. We are waiting on a few more materials. This is doing its thing. Nice. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I've got our concrete up and running now. Finally, that will be, uh, be working. We do need to keep an eye on our water supply, though. Now we're using water a fair bit more. Even though I think our food supply is growing tremendously and looking pretty nice at the same time. Um, are we still having places for... Yeah, all of this is still working. Good stuff. Um, this is starting to dig in a little bit. Yes, good stuff too. Nice. Okay, so we just need to uh, make sure that we we fill up on some of these things. Okay, what we did... Once we have a little bit more of this... We'll quickly sort out the rest. What do we need here? About 10 more? Okay, I think that's going to finish it off now. Perfect, there we go. Cool, now we can do that. Now, the next step is for us to... You're missing water. Yeah, water will be um, coming your way. Um, the next step is for us to get some storage available. Yeah, so I'll place the one over there. And then if we're going to have a look at... Yeah, I'll have to get these things automated a little bit more. So we'll get that one up and running. And then we'll have a split off here and a split off there to run it off this way. Yeah, I think that's going to be a good, good idea. Then we're going to automate that component. 
And that should do the trick. These are running out pretty quickly. We just need to make sure that we maintain a fair bit of stuff. Are we... Why is some of this stuff not working? Are we out? Out of diesel? Can we uh, just make sure that you get your uh, diesel here fairly quickly? It's going to be quite useful for us to do that so that we continue to produce power. If we don't, we'll run out of stuff. Now, the question is, do we provide some additional storage for diesel at some point? I think that is probably useful to do. Excellent. This is filling up. That is filling up nicely. Um, of course, now, what we would want to do is probably put another unit storage in here. So that means we'll maintain, and then what I'm going to do is going to um, delete that piece so that we can... I'm not sure we could have could have sorted that out a little bit better, maybe. Just Let's just get rid of all of that. Now, what I would like us to do is run there and run there. So now if you split it up, now from this side, we can run the other one. Now, let's just quickly have a see, see look at what is our vehicle ramps um, going to look like. So a small one is not going to fit in here. So we may have to go up and down, a medium one and a large one. Okay, that's quite an interesting one. I will keep an eye on that. But what we'll need to do over here is raise it up. So what I'm doing is, um, if you press E, it goes up a level. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it. Come on. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to make sure. Okay, so the issue here, let me explain what I'm trying to do. The issue that we have here is we need to um, provide sufficient kind of access for uh, for for the for the trucks. Is that that's about right? Yeah, that's about right. So up to about there, and then we'll drop it down right there. And so this. I believe will give us, will feed in these items for us while still maintaining connectivity for the trucks to run underneath there. I believe that's the case. Now we will also need to maybe switch this back on again. Yes, now that we've um, got a lot of that sorted out. So what I will be doing I, oh, there we go. Can I do that? We'll do that, and now we'll go up. And we'll drop it down. Perfect, that one worked really nicely. Now this one, just one out this way, then we go up to the top. Hmm. I didn't really want it to do that. And the question is if I do this, oh, 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 cancel. If I do that, will we still maintain all of our access points? That's the plan. Well, how are we short of a worker yet again? Where do all these workers go? <laughs> now, I do know I um, I build a fair bit of stuff here now. Okay, so, yeah, that's still running out a little bit. Yeah, we do need these, these openings here to just make sure that we constantly are producing. Now, our production is pretty good at the moment. 
We are running out of rubber for additional vehicles, but at least we can trade for rubber. I'm aware we can. So if I pop back over here, we can have a look. Rubber we can get from, from iron. So I may as well trade a couple. Okay, so now we have a little bit more rubber available. Um, our concrete should be doing its thing. Missing input of what exactly? Water? Ooh. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're out of water. So groundwater is the next thing that we definitely need to have a look at. So if we can do groundwater, mm, we can get groundwater up here or alternatively we'll have to go and get groundwater in this location. I think what I might may, may do is I'll just kind of build, ooh, it takes 50 of the advanced pieces. My goodness. And this one, on the other hand, is quite cheap to build. So let's... Um, let's build that one. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just cancel that for a second. What I will need to do is provided access. Well, anyway, if that's the case, I may as well just do this. Oh, it's, it's so clean. If we just do it like that. Yeah, I'm just going to do that for the time being. Then we'll join it in there. So at least we'll get a little bit of extra water supply. Need more people yet again. So we can at least get another round of population. So let's um, switch this thing back on and get another 16 refugees one more time. And then we really need to start repairing the shipyard and get our, what's going on with our, oh, actually, uh, what's going on with our research? So we've got all the way up to these guys. So what does this need to do? Cargo ship technology. Ocean drilling technology. So we need to go and explore to get those components that we're missing. Then, so we can go and get biofuel. We can start working on power generation and we can get vehicle management um, at some point, but we need to upgrade these guys. So again, we need tons more of this. So um, can I just um, up the priority or close some of this down? So at least we have the workers available to do so. So I close this one down and all of a sudden I've got spared workers. It's a little weird, but anyway, we'll get all of this sorted out. And so that we can finish off the rest of these conveyors, we need um, the assembly parts number two. What is this called? Construction parts two to, uh, to assembly, assemble conveyor parts. But all of the rest is looking pretty good. Pretty good. Oh man, we are looking awesome. What is this going to need? Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. We will need power for that though, so that's okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. It doesn't use the, uh, the assembly parts or the construction parts number two. Nice, there we go. Our vehicles are doing their thing. I'm, I'm happy you don't have to actually micromanage the vehicles too much. Okay, so now this will actually work a little bit quicker, though we do need some more. Um, okay, what I can do in the meantime is I could go ahead and grab a few rounds of this. So at least we'll have a little bit more. The refugees has just arrived. So now everybody should be able to work. We have, uh, I think, I'm not sure how many brought, got some more of the other bits and pieces as well. So let's switch that off for the time being. How much spare capacity do we have? Um, about 30, ooh, 20, 26, 26 more people can come and live here at this point in time. And we do have food for everybody. With a pretty decent food supply. Now that's all looking good. Ooh, the one thing, I'm going to have to redo these. Um, I'm going to have to redo these pieces a fair bit, I think. Nice. So once that's built, this whole thing will now have a nice automated train. We'll have this thing nice and filled up and the rest of it will go in here straight away. And awesome. There we go. Constant supply. 
let's get ourselves ready for a little bit of a storage output for that. Now, if we wanted to expand this in a similar fashion, let's just make, let's just do a little something like that. Place that over there and we'll run that in. Awesome, there we go. This will be construction part two. So as soon as we've got that going, now we've got that all automated nicely. Um, it's not the cleanest setup, but I think for the time being pretty efficient. We're missing some copper over here. Copper is coming in. These are all filled up nicely. Uh, what we are missing, however, is a spot for the iron. The molten is all filled up, so that's okay. Iron seems to be doing a pretty decent job. They can't be delivering any more. Um, two trucks only, so that's okay. I could add another storage in here. Let's do that. I'm almost tempted to do it like this. Good stuff and assign me some iron ore over there. Nice. So now they can fill that one up and we'll have a fair bit of extra supply. Um, if I expand to the other side, hopefully we can just use that same one and run it across to the other side. Awesome. So now, how are we doing here? Working pretty nicely, it seems. I think we've got a pretty smooth, yeah, 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 no, it's uh, it's running all the time now. So now we've got a consistent um, supply of, um, of the construction parts to being produced. So what are we missing over here? We're missing, the concrete is not necessarily coming in quick enough. We can also get our trees to come in here and potentially the concrete and run them through that way. Let's get another unit here. Is that is that about right? Um, I'm kind of tempted to to get this all conveyed up to go this way, but then let's uh, let's do it let's do it this way around. Now, the problem we have is that. Getting into this space is probably going to be a bit of a challenge. Okay, I think... Okay, hang on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demolish all of this. You do get those pieces back, I believe, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. And because this is a pretty challenging, pretty challenging piece, but what we'll need to do is let's get... So if I do up to there. Okay, hang on. We do up to about there. Okay, let's 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 see if we can't get a vehicle ramp uh, through here first. That might be uh, the appropriate thing to do. Um, so a small vehicle ramp. in this location may work quite well for us. Yeah, I think, I think let's build that. It's pretty pricey to build though. So let's wait for that one to be built and then we'll r run our, our conveyors through this way. Yeah, I think that's going to work. It's going to be pretty tight around here, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, we've got some spare workers available, so we can open this guy up for business if we wanted to. We don't have vehicles really queuing and waiting and so on. The one place that may need an additional vehicle is over here. Oh, it's got two. Extra vehicle. Good idea. Good idea. Bad idea. Yeah, good idea, I think. Good idea for the time being, at least. So that's good. We're not uh, well. Actually, that uh, that's that piece is is kind of getting up there now. How's this going? No, we're pretty good with uh, with our diesel. Everything is looking pretty healthy now, apart from maybe the concrete, which um, what are we missing? Water again? Yeah, water is a problem. 
Oh, but now, now we can actually go and access some groundwater. Hmm, so where do we have... Okay, so this thing is not happening just yet. That one is almost filled. Where? Uh, let's, let's have a quick another look. Where's the groundwater? So there's some groundwater up here. That wouldn't be too bad. Um, over here could be useful in the sense that um, it will also provide... It's also in close proximity to our farming industry. So let's... Um, Let's um, slot it up right on the edge over here. So we'll go ahead and build that. And we'll definitely get a fair bit of storage to go here. Maybe we're going to build an extra one. So let's, uh, let's leave it a little bit of room in between. And I'm kind of... Tempted to do it uh, like this instead of we we, we can just um, kind of daisy chain them together like that. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's uh, let's build at least. Will will like four of them be okay? I think four of them is going to be okay. I think you hold shift to build it twice. So we'll do that and then. We'll link this up this way, and we'll link that one up that way. And now we should have a fair supply of water right over here from the groundwater. Groundwater gets replenished when it rains, but we can run out of that groundwater reservoir over there. So just want to make sure that all of this is all nice and good. We've got a fair bit of water um, available over here. We do need to make sure that we are getting our water back into this general area. So let's... Um, Let's actually go ahead and deliver some water right over here. Make sure that that is in fact water and we would like um, that to be kept full a little bit. So at least this thing will continue to run. Um, from there, I don't even mind if we uh, just grab ourselves an extra storage over there just so that we have got a little bit of a buffer um, for the operation, but that's going to be pretty good. Um, what has this guy got on uh, on him here? So the one thing you do want to make sure is sometimes they get loaded up with sand or something because they're close to sand um, and, that, and they're kind of mining through the sand operation and then there's not necessarily a place to dump it. If you have a look at the dumping, um, doesn't actually allow for sand to be dumped. So just need to be mindful of that that piece. Okay, and I believe that's going to do us for this episode. So we've done um, f uh, done our concrete setup, and um, and I think we've kind of got our automation all nicely running. We do um, we have run out of um, well not well. Let's just get a couple of those. Get a little bit more concrete going because I think we've oh it's not actually coming in, and we're not delivering it anymore. So again, running out of stuff. Yet again, so we're almost done with our um, with our automated setups over here. So it wouldn't be um, I'm I'm quite keen. Okay, that's done now. Okay, actually, before I close it out, let's quickly finish off this so that we uh, can make sure that we're all ready to go. So let's um, no 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 no. You need to run it that way. And what I'll do, is we'll just do it up to about there. Okay, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Is that going to be enough space? The alternative is for me to just leave it on the bottom and do that. But that's not quite. You know what? Cancel this for me, please. Uh, yeah, sorry. Cancel that. I want to redo it. Um, so what I'm going to do is once I get out on the other side, I'm going to run it up in a, on a higher level so that we can quite easily um, dip one or the other and, and thread the needle with all of these different ones. So what I can, in fact, do is I can start running this one up to about there. So just, you can go ahead and do that. This one. And go up to there. Oops. 
this needs to be um, concrete slab, please. And I would like you to keep it at least half full. And now let's get this piece of conveyor going. Okay, so lift it, raise it up by one. There we go, that's pretty neat. Now the next one Uh, again, what we'll do is we'll raise it up by one. We'll run it over to about here. And then we'll drop it down. You're going to go in there and you're going to go underneath and go. Well, let's, uh, let's provide ourselves with a fair bit of space here. Excellent. And now the final one does not have to go um, over. So this one goes underneath that way and in there and over there straight away. Now, there we go. That is our automated setup over here. The guys can still get into this area, no problems. I'm gonna end this episode now. Let's just finish this one off and that will make me so happy. That would make me so happy if we get all of this all filled up. We need more vehicles. So let's um, unpause this guy and get a couple of extra vehicles to start um, running through. Almost there, almost there. How much of this? I still have a fair bit of this left and we can go ahead and buy ourselves a little bit of additional rubber and also maybe a little bit of additional concrete just for the time being. So we just finish off a few things. So that's the wood coming out. This guy needs a little bit of slab coming through. Excellent, almost done here. Nice. So now there is, we've got iron and we've got um, wood going through there. Now we're just waiting on some deliveries of concrete slab, which I'm kind of hoping is around. Why is this out? We're out of water. Okay, so we are in fact out of water. Let's quickly go over here and see. This thing all filled up. It is all filled up now. Will be filled up in just a minute. So then we'll have tons of water available. And we just need to kind of transport it somewhere. So that queue of vehicles is our biggest challenge at the moment. I'll, I'll just quick deliver a few of these. So we've got all the stuff we need. Um, I'm just, I just want to build a few of these vehicles. So let's, uh, I'll, I'll just use boost and we'll quick deliver a few just so we get that queue down a little bit. That queue is, uh, is getting a little out of hand. So there's one quick deliver the next one. Use a bit of unity to quick deliver without uh, using your logistics network. Get two, two quick vehicles out there to come and help us out with some of this logistics. Okay, now we've got concrete here also. So now this is really completely automated. Um, this is now really completely automated and filling up nicely. So automation done, concrete up and running, um, groundwater done, um, nice food supply. The next thing for us is to fix these guys up and then start exploring and getting the next pieces of research up and running. I think this is a, is a pretty healthy setup that we've got here right now with a fair bit of everything we need. So let's get a couple of, even some more um, trucks so we can uh, drop that queue. That queue is getting a little out of, out of hand now. But I think generally it's looking pretty good. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.